This is key. Okay, so the individual zones of optimal performance, uh, eyes off model. It's emotional performance relationships. So what we're going to do, we're going to examine the model uh, in the context of understanding our zone of optimal functioning in football matches and how we can better access our zone of optimal performance. So the aim is um, to assist us to become more consistent in football matches under pressure, to recognize behavioral patterns during football games, to develop a pre-match routine, which we looked at the video earlier that encompasses um, different variables, and the outcome is by doing that, the, the goal is at the end of it to be able to access optimal mental performance, physical, and emotional states for football uh, when uh, necessary. So before we go into the exercise, uh, we can think of the zone of optimal functioning as the, the sweet spot between the spectrum of being too calm and too anxious. So it's a bit like, you know, if you drive a manual car, that kind of the point of when you change the gear, that kind of, when that sort of moment. So within athletes, the spectrum some athletes have is a preference in, in the mid range. Some athletes perform better in the lower end of the spectrum. Some athletes, you know, are totally hyped up for a match perform. As much as an athlete might want to perform in a comfort zone, the research suggests we, we best perform um, in a high anxiety state than in the training ground, uh, so to speak. So we're going to go through an exercise now, and, and the main goal is to sort of reflect on some of our – well, the aim of the exercise is to reflect on our, our performances. So I'm going to guide you through receiving the exercises, um, and, and the aim is we've sort of uh, – this exercise and work that you do beyond here, uh, be more consistent under pressure in football games, uh, recognise patterns that go on. Um, develop a pre-match routine, which we won't just do this evening. We'll do obviously within the next, um, you know, two to three weeks. And 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 we want to sort of be able to, you know, the main outcome is access to sort of peak, uh, optimal state, physical and emotional state for football. But you can transfer these skills as well, by the way, not just in football, like we mentioned before. Um, you know, the skills that we sort of, the skills that we do, the skills that we sort of work on. Um, they're not just about um, football. You can you can perhaps transfer them to other sports you play them to academia, university, college, school, business, or anything else for that matter. 